virtually everyone I've met uh, was asking uh, one thing, uh, and that was, why is the world not doing anything to help us? Why um, is the world standing by while we're being literally slaughtered? Demonstrations were going on everywhere. In Aleppo, where I was at the end of my last visit, every day I saw several demonstrations, and within 15 minutes, 20 minutes, the security forces would come in uh, with the plain clothes uh, Shabiha, the militias armed by the state, and would fire live rounds into the crowd. Every day I saw people being killed and injured. Um, for example, this young kid, 16-year-old, Muaz Lababidi, he was killed, shot dead at a demonstration, which I was observing. It was an absolutely uh, peaceful demonstration, like all the demonstrations I saw um, in Aleppo. On the same day, this 13-year-old Amir was um, also shot dead. He was just standing in the street uh, watching the demonstration. And this is what I saw every time. In many of the places, the army surrounds the town, but the towns and the villages are, are not under the control uh, of the armed forces. The way that the armed forces operate is that soldiers and the Shabiha go into uh, the places they surround from time to time. Uh, they go in for very short, very intense and violent operation for one or two days. They kill a lot of people, they burn a lot of places, and then they leave and simply keep the places surrounded. In some places, they target specifically houses of activists. In other villages, they burn between two and 600 houses in a single village or in a single town. This is just one of the many, many, many examples that I've seen in the last few days of properties, uh, homes, shops uh, burned to the ground. As well as the large number of people who were extrajudicially executed, civilians who were taken out of their homes, uh, in some cases the security forces, the soldiers carried out acts of absolutely um, gratuitous violence, such as setting the bodies on fire. For example, um, this woman um, told me about her three sons. On the 23rd of March in Sermin, the soldiers came into the house, took the three uh, boys outside, shot them dead and set them on fires um, for her to watch. In Taftanaz, in one particular town, um, more than 19 members of one single family uh, were killed. Um, in one place, um, nine were shot dead. Um, in, in a room where I found uh, bullet holes. It was really uh, very much a repetition of the same atrocities. And quite clearly these kind of uh, particularly heinous um, crimes uh, seem to have been intended to intimidate the communities. People were very, very scared, uh, but at the same time they also desperately wanted the outside world to know. Uh, while many people were asking for me not to mention their names or not to take their photos, people wanted to speak, people wanted to say what had happened to them and they wanted the world to know. The atrocities were on such a scale, uh, they were so systematic that it, it cannot possibly be just the sort of actions of a few rogue elements within the security forces. This is clearly a policy, uh, a policy of brutal repressions um, aimed at uh, punishing people for supporting the opposition and intimidating them into submission. The international community for well over a year since the Syria uprising began has failed spectacularly to do anything to bring relief to the population which is continually to be targeted. What we need to see is a UN force with a mandate to monitor and investigate human rights that would send a clear message to those who are responsible for committing such atrocities 
that they will not be able to benefit for, from impunity uh, forever. Um, and similarly, uh, the uh, UN Security Council should refer the situation in Syria to the International Criminal Court.